Good morning. I'm headed to the mechanic shop, get my axle checked. I think I got a vibration from the accident. So he said he would check it for me. Going to see, going to see Alan over at Lou's Auto Service and Muffler. He's gonna check me out, see if what's going on with this axle. Being that's where they hit right on that axle there. Crush the center cap. I know that's a tough unit there, but there may be, it may have bent the wheel, may have tweaked something in there. So he's gonna check it out and see. So getting in my excursion, find my wires hanging down. Notice anything missing? Did you miss it? There's a little bit of glue residue. That means, guess what fell down? Well, this isn't the first time. That camera's actually pretty heavy. So, I've got to put it back up. So, part of today's video is going to be remounting your rear view mirror when it has fallen down. Conveniently, I keep razor blades in the car and occasionally super glue. And what you're going to do, you're going to take a flat razor blade. it as flat as possible. Of course I had to switch hands as I am right-handed and it's kind of dangerous scraping left-handed. So what you can see that I'm doing here is just scraping off the old glue. And what you want to do is keep this blade flat. I'll get all of that off of there and try not to scratch the surface. See, of course, there's going to be a few little scratches here and there. But try not to gouge it because you want to keep it flat. Now we're going to go up here to the glass. I don't know if your view is as bad as mine, but boy, I need to clean this windshield. So right in here is usually where it sits. And so what I'm going to do is just take this blade and just make sure all the residue is off of there. Flip it over. Now what I'm gonna do is there, see that bug mark right there? That's gonna be my reference point for putting up the mount. Now, see how my mount is just barely in that's so i can pop it right out and feeling it i can feel that there's a little bit of glue right there on the top let me get that off of there is plenty so as you can see this is the factory mirror underneath and then there is the other mirror and it straps to the factory one and there's the front facing camera and microphone so it makes it pretty heavy it's probably a maybe two pounds or, you know, your rear view mirror doesn't really weigh much at all. All right, now let's put the glue on. Okay, glue is on. It's curved side. It's going to face up. Because it's going to match this here. 
and this collar is what grabs on to that part sticking out on the bottom there. So here's what we're going to do. Flat side onto the glass. Remember we're using that bug as a reference point. And we're just going to stick it up there and hold it. You can see it's puddling a little at the bottom. That's fine. Using just a small bit of force to hold it. Not too, nothing too crazy. And that's all you're gonna need. So, all right, now let's cap the glue. Because we may need it next week if it falls again. We need this razor blade again. I'll just put that in there off camera. Now I'm going to set this over in the seat. And I'm going to have to drive a bit with it down. Because I'm going to give it opportunity to dry. It's still the morning here. I do need to get these out of the way, so I'm gonna drape these over my headrest. Now this is the power, the uh, rear camera input. How about excursion cold start? I'm just saying I mean my front isn't the cleanest in the world I mean there's sand straw paper a little bit over there but does anybody else's children just totally disrespect the second row I mean cups it's like you remember them enough to feed them, but they can't seem to throw the trash away. And they're not babies, y'all. They're big. They're 16 and 17. Six foot two, six foot three. And their hands work. Well, glad I stopped at the trash can on the way out. All right. That's just about it of the Lord's chicken. Boy, I like looking at that car. Shines so nice. 85,000 miles. Drive it as much as I can. Gives better mileage than an excursion, definitely. And it's um, pretty fun. Got my truck checked out. He jacked it up. Looked to see if the tires were running true. And they were on both sides. So the axle isn't bent. The wheels aren't bent. So maybe the impact uh, moved a wheel weight or something. So I'm okay with that. I just didn't want to have a problem that needed to be addressed in this insurance claim get closed when the body work happens. So, all was good there. Headed back to the Hacienda, and then we'll hang this rear view mirror. This glue has had a couple hours to dry, a little stud on the glass. So, hoping it'll hold for more than a couple days this time. All right, time to hang the mirror. Just slides right over. I try not to push it really hard. See, it's not all the way seated in. I'm worried that the weight with this 
uh, dash cam here might snap it off which has kind of been happening already so that's what it looks like without power still see it still has a reflection now I gotta get all the wiring run the wiring over there plugs that go in the top. One. This one goes in the middle. And this last one, the longer one, goes over here on this side. comes on you see the front view and then it switches to the rear view you can adjust what you see see how you keep this adjusted down because you can see the back trim inside of the hatch there so I keep it like that and then swipe it and there's the front You can see the sky. So I keep it where I can just see the hood. And you can adjust the camera as well. So it's recording now. I'm going to turn it off. And then we'll hit the little. Oh, that's not it. settings it starts recording as soon as you go back to the screen so here are your files when you drive now it's been off so that's the recent files see all I think so that's what I just did when I hook it up that's me that section of the sun driving and he said he hit a bump and the camera fell Let's see if that's what's on this one here there we go. Thank you, thank you for tagging along today. Got some information on the axle. That's positive, it's not bent. The wheels aren't bent and that's good because we keep this thing on the road uh, when we play football out of town. Uh, gotta see a cool Hellcat get the exhaust mufflers eliminated and got to hear those sweet sounds of it. i uh, like to thank Alan over at Lou's Auto Service and Muffler. Uh, he's a friend of mine and he's also a great mechanic and exhaust specialist. So if you're in the Savannah area and you need work done, give him a call. He's great at what he does, very trustworthy. I would send all of my family to him and not feel anything about it. So I know there's some mechanics that you have to worry about upselling. That's not Alan. So trustworthy, go check him out. Thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next video.